is Jeopardy! Please welcome our contestants. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Rebeck. Thank you, Johnny Gilbert, and thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Let's take you right now into the Jeopardy round. Clues are worth $200 to $1,000 in these categories. Science grab bag. Banned books. Board game history. Tennis. That's so cliché. And Washington, Lincoln, or Obama? All right, let's get back into this. Player one has control of the board. Charles Darrow created this game in the Depression while dreaming of fame, fortune, and his summers at the Jersey Shore. Okay, player one. Woo Player one, back to you for our next selection. A game imported from India is called both Shoots and Snakes and These. Player one. Woo! Right. Select again. While out of work, Alfred Butts created this word game by mixing anagrams with crossword puzzles. Let's hear it, player one. Yeah. That is correct. Please pick again, player one. Hasbro says this game was invented by a wealthy couple while aboard their luxury boat. Okay, player one. That's it. You again, player one. In the 1950s, Parker Brothers took a French game called Conquest of the World and turned it into this. Yes, player two. Right. <laughs> Where do we begin, player two? Was born a British subject. Let's hear it, player one. Whoa! Right you are. <laughs> player one, make a selection, please, as we continue. The tallest. It's player one. Whoa! You get to pick again, player one. Never lived in Illinois. Okay, player one. Right. Yeah! You get to pick again, player one. Went to Occidental College and Columbia University. Player one. Yeah! That is correct. Please pick again, player one. Received a patent. Here's the correct response. Abraham Lincoln. Player one, you pick again, please. The ladies' singles trophy for this event is a sterling silver tray called the Rosewater Dish. Let's hear it, player one. Woo! Right you are. We return to you, player one. Need something? Well, just come to the point and stop beating around the this. It's player one. Yeah! That is correct. Please pick again, player one. The final outrage is the straw that breaks this animal's back. 
Okay, player one. Right. Oh. Player one, you pick again, please. People who meet briefly and then go their separate ways are like these that pass in the night. Okay, player one. <laughs> you are correct. You again, player one. You've been in trouble if someone has read you this act. Yes, player one. Good for you. <laughs> Player one, back to you. An indefinitely long time is often referred to as a month of these days. Yes, player two. Aww. No. Any other takers? Okay, player one. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Okay, player three. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Player three, you start us off. These cells from human embryos can grow into any type of tissue and may someday cure diabetes and Alzheimer's. Okay, player one. That's it. <laughs> Player one, make a selection, please, as we continue. This story was banned in California because the heroine was bringing wine as well as food to her grandma. It's Player One. Yeah! Right. <laughs> Player One, choose again. In 1929, Italy banned his Call of the Wild, and Yugoslavia banned all of his books as being too radical. Player three? Oh. Mm. Any other takers? Player two? Oh. Anyone else? It's player one. You yeah! got it. You again, player one. Predictably, in 1967, Lysistrata by Aristophanes was banned in this country, then controlled by a military junta. Yes, player three. Where do we begin, player three? England indicted this supporter of the Revolutionary War for his rights of man. His publisher was prosecuted. Here's the response we were looking for. Thomas Paine. Player three, back to you for our next selection. Answer, <laughs> it's the Daily Double. You're in second now, but with an opportunity to catch up a bit. You need to select... Okay, here is the clue. Viola's cross-dressing in this Shakespeare play ran afoul of a New Hampshire prohibition of Alternative Lifestyle Act. Oh. Oh, so that's... Here's the response we were looking for. Twelfth Night. Please pick again, player three. It's the ITF Team Championship for Men. Let's hear it, Player 3. Yeah! Yes. <laughs> we return to you, Player 3. Here's Kelly with the clue. To hit one of these mid-air return strokes, punch at the ball, keeping the racket in front of your body and the racket face perpendicular to the court. Yes, player one. Right. Player one, 
you start us off. This feisty American's 1984 winning percentage of 965 is the best in the ATP Tour's modern era. Here's the correct response. John McEnroe. We return to you, player one. In 2007, Switzerland issued its first stamp of a living person, a one-franc stamp depicting this tennis player. Okay, player three. Yeah! You got it. <laughs> player three, make a selection, please, as we continue. Jupiter, Saturn, and Uranus are called this type of planet after a Roman god. Let's hear it, player one. Oh! Sorry, that's wrong. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Yes, player two. No, that's not right. Anyone else? Player three? Right you are. <laughs> Player three, you pick again, please. A material called URHGE can be manipulated into being a resistance-free super this. Let's hear it, Player three. Right. <laughs> Player three, you pick again, please. We're not faking. Alphabetically, it's last among the elements on the periodic table. Yes, player one? And the last clue for $1,000. Here's Kelly. The two main kinds of lens are diverging and this type that bends rays of light inward so they meet at the focal point. Here's the correct response. Converging. Player two is in third place, which means, of course, player two will select first in double jeopardy. Blues are worth $400 to $2,000 in these categories. The Civil War. World Heritage Sites. Medicine, men and women. One World. Literary Characters and movie folk. Player two, you're in command of the board as we continue. Sarah will present this clue. At the 1863 Battle of Gettysburg, the Union's center line at Cemetery Ridge was hit by 12,000 Confederates who suffered 42% casualties in the skirmish known as this man's charge. Let's hear it, player three. <laughs> Good. Player three, you start us off. This entire Italian city spread over 118 islands is a World Heritage Site. The correct response is Venice. Here's Kelly to start us off. The pyramid known as the castle is one of the wonders of this ancient Mayan city. It's player three. Woo! You got it. <laughs> Select again. This South American capital didn't exist 60 years ago.
Here is what we wanted. Brasilia. You again, player three. In 1968, a federal court found this author and pediatrician guilty of violating the Selective Service Act. Player one? Any other takers? Okay, player three. Right. <laughs> you again, player three. In 1659, Italian anatomist Marcello Malpighi discovered that the lungs were made up of these tiny air sacs. Okay, player one. Good. <laughs> player one, where do we start? To completely reverse your direction while driving is to pull a one of these. Let's hear it, player one. That's right, way to go. <laughs> Player one, choose again. A popular koan, or meditation subject of Zen Buddhism, asks the student to try to imagine this sound. Player three? That's right, way to go. <laughs> Player three, where do we start? You can visit this country's Laos o Meadows historic park even if you're not a Viking. Player one? Here's what we were looking for. Canada. Please pick again, player three. Answer. <laughs> the first of the two daily doubles. You're in second right now. How much are you going to wager, player three? Here is your daily double clue. A visit to this country's Komodo National Park shouldn't drag on all day. You are now in first place. We return to you, player three. This German bacteriologist developed a test for syphilis and an inoculation for tetanus. Yes, player three? Sorry, that's wrong. Anyone else? Yes, player two. Sorry, that's wrong. Anyone else? Okay, player one. Yeah. That is correct. <laughs> player one, where do we start? Numerical name for Scheherazade's tales. The correct response is the 1001 Nights. Player one, back to you for our next selection. Title of playwright Moss Hart's autobiography. Here's the correct response. Act one. 
Player one, back to you for our next selection. Based in Chicago, this financial services provider merged with J.P. Morgan Chase in 2004. Okay, player two. Hi. You're out of the hole. Okay, let's get back into this. Player two, you make the next selection as we can. Had a whale of a time in 1851. Pequod problems. Call him this narrator. It's player one. Oh, that's not right. Anyone else? Here's the correct response. Ishmael. You get to pick again, player two. Famous foundling. Sykes himself out. Title taught. Let's hear it, player one. Right. Player one, start us. Rejected by USC Film School, this S in DreamWorks SKG now sits on the film school's board of counselors. Yes, player one? Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Here's what we were looking for. Steven Spielberg. Player one, back to you. Jerry Maguire was originally written for Tom, not Cruz, but him. Yes, player three? Yep. <laughs> a lot of clues, a lot of categories, player three. Make a he majored in journalism at Fordham before playing a newspaper reporter in the Pelican Brief. The correct response is Denzel Washington. Player three, you pick again, please. This actor got his name by giving his mom a fetal kick while she viewed a Da Vinci work. Let's hear it, player one. Yeah. Is correct. Player one, where do we start? Answer. The second daily double. You are in first place. So, what's your wager? All right, here's your clue. To get orc war screams for The Lord of the Rings, this director put phonetic yells on a scoreboard for 25,000 cricket fans. Even so, you are still in the lead. Here's what we were looking for. Peter Jackson. Player one, back to you. LAPI, okay? Chambler's champ slept big, and his goodbye was long. Here is what we wanted. Philip Marlowe. We return to you, player one. Time traveling Dresden dude. He wasn't a Puritan, a Vonnegut check. Here is what we wanted Billy Pilgrim. Please pick again, player one. As a gem of a brother, Atticus, Atticus, sweet home Alabama. 
Let's hear it, player one. Player one, pick again. In 1796, he inoculated eight-year-old James Phipps with material from a cowpox pustule from Sarah Nelms. Here's what we wanted. Edward Jenner. Player one, choose again. In 1889, Susan LaFleche Picot, a member of this Nebraska tribe, became the first Native American female doctor. Let's hear it, player three. No. Any other takers? We're talking about Omaha. Select again. This national battlefield in Sharpsburg, Maryland, commemorates the bloodiest single day of the Civil War. Player two. <laughs> right you are. Player two, you start us off. Sherman's campaign for this city took three months in 1864. Here's the correct response. Atlanta. Select again. In 1862, Confederate General Beauregard wanted Island Number 10 in this body of water held at all costs. Didn't happen. It's player three. Oh. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Yes, player one? And now, the $2,000 clue. The hopeless mud march in a Virginia downpour ended Burnside's command of the force called This Army. Here is what we wanted, Army of the Potomac. All three of you will participate in Final Jeopardy right after this. Here comes the final Jeopardy players. The category is this. Literary characters. What are you going to wait for? Now, let's reveal the final Jeopardy clue. This hero is the son of Ecfio and the grandson of Hrithul. What is your response? And that correct response will add... What did you say? And that correct response will add... What did you say? With that response, you will gain... Yeah. Player one, congratulations to you. Good game, everyone, and thank you so much for playing.